Welcome to my tutorial on making um, a PHP web page from your HTML web page. So this, what this will do is get you started on the first part of your homework assignment. As you noticed on the right side of the page over here you have the HTML um, code for the index page of my website and on the left is what the, um, is what the page looks like rendered in Chrome. I already have Apache running and so what I'll do is kind of sh what I do. What I'll do is show you how to convert this at least this first page from HTML to PHP. So the first step is to save your page as convert it from an index.html to index.php. Now I'm running in uh, Linux right now, but if you, you can do the same a uh, similar method if you're in Windows and using Visual Studio. So I'm going to save index.php and click save. Now if you notice on the left, um, the page won't change that much. And what happens is the Apache um, web server knows that even if the page is PHP, if it doesn't see the PHP um, headers, they'll render the page just using regular HTML. So you can see here on the page on the right, on the page on the left, if I I hit F5 on the on Chrome and it refresh the page. And you can see that it's actually loading the PHP portion right. If I add on the bottom to the copyright, I change it from 2015 to 2014 through 15 and save it and hit refresh. It will add the time to it. So the Apache web server knows to look for index.php ahead of index.html. And so while there's index.php and index.html in my in my home part of my site, you can render them both. So I'm going to begin by converting this code to PHP by first adding the PHP tags to the top of the um, site, the top of my site, and to the bottom. I, I like to use whenever I do tags, I like to open and close them at the same time, just so I won't be confused. Now for this first portion of the thing, all I want you to do is, is just add echoes to all the lines in your code. So the page will be rendered out as following. Now for this example, I'm just going to do it on my index page, but for this assignment you should do it to all your all four of your web pages. Your index page, your products page, your about page and your contact page. Now what the echo does is when this the Apache web server prints out your um, interpret your content and prints it out to the web page that renders it, it will see echo and just see it as a printer. Now if you notice here, I had in my link um, double quotes around the link page. Since echo, is, in this case I'm using double quotes around for echo, I'm going to change, after the RF, RF I'm going to change this to single quotes so the interpreter can still understand that and I won't throw an error. Now you can use single quotes for the command around your content and maybe that would be a better way to get around this, but I tend to like using double quotes around everything because I'm an old C++ programmer and C++ I use double quotes for all strings. Now this will get you for the first part of your code, so it should get you started with your assignment. For the parts two, I want you to add a function to the top of your program to write out the header 
information every time, so use a template. For part three, it's going to introduce you to loops, and this there's a good example in the textbook for this. And then for part four, um, um, you'll be using you'll be creating classes. This will be an introduction to object-oriented programming. For you people that haven't had a whole lot of programming in this class, this might be a the object-oriented part might be challenging. Um, so I recommend you read up, and then if you have any questions, um, please email my, me or uh, Eric, and we can help you out with it. Hopefully this gets you to a good start to your assignment, and if you have any questions, just again, email or call us. Thank you.